do you feel the excitement kind of catching on now? You're two days out from the start of the season. Yeah, I think everybody's excited to play a home game. Um, guys are ready. Had a uh, really good uh, couple days of practice and uh, really competitive. Uh, other than the first couple minutes today, um, guys were really good, and I think everybody's just excited to get going. Can you talk about Victor Noichev? He's coming off a rookie season, made some adjustments throughout last year, but he looks really like really prepared in camp right now. Yeah, no, he's had a he had a great rookie tournament. He had a great preseason. He's uh, you know he's first one at the rink, last one to leave. I think he had a really big summer, uh, not knowing him uh, before, but it's stronger. Uh, he's really competitive, really good habits. He stays on pucks and. Um, he can make a lot of plays out there. He's really shifty. Uh, his ability to, in tight traffic, to extend plays. And um, I'm excited. And I'm, I'm sure he's excited, too, to get going. I know there's a lot of returning Amherst, but every face is new to you. Um, one of the new faces to the team overall is Josh Dunn, guy with a lot of experience, some good background in Cleveland. What have you made of his camp? Uh, he's a winner. I, he's, a, he's a winning hockey player. Uh, he's a culture driver, the way he practices, um, the way he is, just uh, the impact that he's made um, not being here, obviously, with so many returners. Um, it, it's been out, outstanding. And he, uh, even in the games, I mean, he's out there when big draws, penalty kill. He actually scored a couple goals at preseason. Um, he's a 200-foot player. And he's, uh, he helps us win games. How do you manage power forwards, guys with a little bit more size? Because I would think players like Anton Wahlberg and Brett Murray are, are really important pieces to have. Yeah, those are I, I identity pieces, uh, um, especially, uh, you know, you watch the NHL or Florida last night. They got guys that, that drive play and, and are momentum drivers in games, and they have the ability to do that. Uh, obviously, uh, Murr. Has been a great pro now. <laughs> Anton has to develop that into uh, the consistency of taking pucks to the neck and to the hard areas. But uh, especially in, uh, you know, it's uh, we want to play a certain way, and those guys are really important to our team identity. Mason Yopst is one of the veterans on this group who's played pro hockey for several years now. What do you like about him? What makes him the ability to be a leader? Uh, I mean, it's just, it's, I, I would say first the person, the character. Um, every, every single person that I spoke to in, in the organization when I got the job spoke to what an incredible human he is, and I've seen it every day. And just, I mean, what a story. He wasn't on a you know, contract, now gets one in the off season, which is really hard to do at his age. And, uh, he, I, I thought he was probably one of our best players too, at, and he wanted to show well at training camp, and he was outstanding. Um, I can't say enough about him. You know, I talked to him a lot during the summer to build a relationship with him because um, I knew what an important piece he was, and he's he's been incredible to be around. What do you think of his work ethic? Is that the kind of thing that can be contagious for young players? Yeah, it's one of the, you know, the, the few things that we brought in. If you look in the locker room now, it's work ethic, selfless, compete. And I think you, he's a guy, your daily a actions drive your behavior. And um, he brings it every day. He's an everyday guy, uh, whether it's in the weight room. Um, you know, even in meetings, he's engaged. And, you know, are you are you paying attention? Are you doing what you're asked to do? And he's uh, it's great for our young guys to be around uh, someone like that. I don't know if you want to tip your hand at all because Friday is two days away. But how do you feel just about how your lines and your D pairings are coming along? Really good. I think we have an idea, but um, I'm a big believer, and you got to practice the right way, and it's earned every day at practice. So. I think the guys have been really good the last couple of days, and uh, um, there's a lot of inner competition, which is good, and I think it drives development, um, drives a winning culture, so uh, we'll, uh, we're getting close. Coach, on this team with these players, uh, how have you seen everyone kind of adjusting or maybe playing under your coaching style? Uh, the only thing we have to base it off of is preseason. Obviously, we had a really good preseason. Uh, we had a really good game in Syracuse. Um, I think if we didn't play well those games, it would be, you know, even though it's preseason, you keep score, and we wanted to be really good, and we wanted to play a certain way. There's a few 
I, I guess you would say nuances, changes in the way we want to play. Um, and I felt we did a good job establishing those uh, things. What are those things that you're looking to work on? I, I think the biggest thing is taking away time and space. We don't want to spend time in our own zone. Even uh, on the four checks, uh, we have a really skilled group. We're fast. I think we're really competitive. Um, and we want to get the puck back. So it's more of a in-your-face style of game where it's puck pressure, and I think it's really important that, uh, you know, we want our guys to have the puck. We're really skilled, so the best way to do it is to get it back quick. And just, uh, just two days away from the home opener, uh, do you ever still get butterflies when it's the first game? Obviously, you know, it's a whole season, whole journey ahead. But Yeah, no, uh, I, I think not so much right now, but I think tomorrow um, and then Friday I'll be pacing around a lot in the office. Uh, I'm just really excited. You hear a lot about the 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 organization and the fan support in the in the city, and uh, I think people are really excited to share, see our group, and I am too.